Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute since you have seen my face, but we are breaking the silence by bringing to you a review of a pretty awesome Decepticon figure that I am looking forward to unboxing and showing to you. So today we bring Tidal Wave from the Armada cartoon. He is a Decepticon and I am looking very excited into opening him up and showing him to you. So we'll cut right to the chase and get into showcasing the box. Here we have the front. I think he is really awesome. Uh, in breaking the water sort of like a Jaeger from the movie Pacific Rim. It's looking pretty cool. We're gonna showcase the sides. Pretty awesome. There's the other side. Also excuse the corner damage. FedEx is quite lovely. Get into the bottom. And then after we showcase the bottom, we will talk more about the back. Here we have the back. It has a nice view of the figure right here, and then you get some of the uh, modes as well. It turns into, uh, he has three modes. The uh, sort of like battleship kind of mode that it looks like um, with the two heads. And you have the aircraft carrier, which is like kind of the big one. And then you also have the base mode. And some quick tidbits about this guy before uh, we get into it is the fact that he was brought here by Thrust uh, to kind of uh, bolt down Megatron's forces on Earth. Pretty awesome, I will say. All right, well, I think we have spent enough time talking and admiring this guy. Now it is time to do it in the actual figure form. So we will just open up the box, get straight into it. He is looking pretty awesome, I will say. All right, so I'll do my best for things not to fall out, although I cannot promise it because they're very loosely packed in here, so. All right, in fact, actually, we'll just take that out. All right, let's prop him up, get a good idea. So here he is, he is taller than my head sitting down, so uh, he is quite large, I will say. What? That's pretty awesome. But this is a good front view of him. You get to see him and how he is all packed. Good old instructions. I'll just give you guys a quick, quick little open up. It's a pretty big, pretty large packet, I will say. But they have to include all three modes somehow. All right. So here are the little accessories that are packed like Christmas gifts. So you have four of those, which is pretty awesome. Um, and we'll find out what those are for. Probably his breast cannons. All right. Well, now that he is unboxed, I suppose we will cut right for you to be able to see him while he's a out of the box figure. All right, so this is him out of the box. We will build him, but for right now, we are just showing you that he comes in three parts. So uh, just letting you know that, so that way you will have to have some assembly required before putting him together. All right, now let's actually show you guys him put together. All right, guys, here he is, out of the box, stood up proud and tall, and I will say that he is quite a big figure. Right here, we have War for Cybertron Thrust, which is the figure we featured a little bit earlier while he was still in the box. Um, right here, he is in size comparison. We'll get more into the size comparison in the transformation video, but just for reference right now, he's gonna have your hands full. Um, and so here he is, a good, look outside we'll move thrust real quick put him up there in the corner and we will give you a good look around so here we have everything and you might notice that there is quite a large amount of holes like these and open spots and that's because that is for this stuff which we will get into in a second we will also show you how he looks with everything like with everything on and how movable and rotational it is but for right now here's his front I say it has a quite a lot going on. It's it's very busy, but it is quite awesome. So here's the side. It's not a whole lot. He's very boxy, I would say, but that does make him good. And then there's also something interesting about this. This comes out for a transformation, but I will say that taking it out is a little difficult. So 
I recommend just grabbing it as tight as you can on the sides, not touching the boat fronts, but just grabbing the sides. That's what it looks like without it. And I thought it was magnetic, but it's not. You just put it into the little peg holes. They're in there. And it slides out, it slides in and out relatively easily. We'll leave it out actually, just because it does have something to show you later. Uh, but there's the back. It's got a little blowing cloth flap, I suppose. And then there's the other side, and then his feet. So and there is an option. This is for a, another transformation. It will be shown in the uh, instructions, but um, if you want, he is kind of relatively supported uh, with high heels. So if you want, you can do that to him. But I really, really don't recommend it because he is not as stable. So, yeah, just using toys for fun. All right, now he's back to his normal mode, how he should be. So that was a pretty good look at him. Um, now we will get into what came with him. So here are some guns and other little accessories that go on his person while he's in robot mode, but he could also have them all over while he is in his three different transformations. Uh, also, real quick, something that we noticed was he can be combined with the uh, Armada Galvatron, and that can be another transformation that can happen as well. So, we will also get into this right now. So, here you see uh, this is the back panel that came out, and this goes with these two little guns right here, these two little sentries. So, you can put those right there, and they'll be put in right there. And I just want to give you some reference as to where you could find that on the box. So once I get this tiny one out, there we go. So you can see it. Specifically, it's for the boat mode, which includes these two boat fronts right there. But I'll probably show you a bigger version on the back. So, yeah, here you go, right up here, you can see it right there. All right. And then, quite obviously, you know, you have your four big rotational guns that go in these spots right here, all over. And then... As well, you also have these additional four, what look to be uh, almost like sentries. So these will be put right here. And this, these different types of modes right there, they'll be put, they also go right here on this big robot person. So it's right there and you're all set. So uh, that is a look at him outside the box and the accessories and stuff that he comes with. And real quick, before we wrap up the video, we will go give you a quick look and showcase of him with everything on and post. So, all right, guys, here we are showcasing him with all of his guns on. Uh, also, as you may notice, uh, it's pretty hard to notice, but we have Nemesis, and she's a little posed right now. Um, but even then, it's still a very good, almost straight uh, comparison for the size. And then here we have the arc and his posing doesn't really matter because he's relatively just a tad uh, taller. But here's a good size comparison and a good view. Also for uh, non-Titan class figures, we have the War for Cybertron Thrust, felt right to keep him in the video, and to include, uh, here we have the Armada Megatron or Galvatron that was included and mentioned in the instructions. So I'll give you guys a quick second to uh, fast in the uh, size comparison. Pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, here he is with all the guns. I will turn him around so that way you can see what he will look like um, before the transformation with this sort of boat hole with the guns on. It's pretty hard to see, but you can see that they are on back there. So. We'll just rotate him around, trying not to neck 
Nemesis or the Arc Cobra. All right. And just like that, guys, that will conclude our video for the unboxing. Remember, this is the unboxing. We will get into the transformation of Tidal Wave in a separate video. But even then, I'm looking forward to seeing that and having fun with that as well. So thank you guys for tuning in. It has been a pleasure to join you again. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, guys. I know that the video is technically over, but we were messing around and we put them together. Uh, all together and here are all three of his parts uh, transformed and put together so also with a couple of the mini G1 uh, representation of the figures so yeah just wanted to give you a quick look as to how big he could be and um, everything put together all right guys here he is in his big base mode it is pretty awesome I will say that it is quite the venture to get him in this mode, but once you do, it is 100% worth it, I will say. And then just as a uh, comparison for size and relative scale, here we have some of the uh, Masterpiece Jetfire tiny figures that came with him. Uh, Core Class Megatron, and then the Armada Galvatron or Megatron that has the like feet boosts that come out of here that you will use for... Uh, the build that comes along with him but uh, yeah otherwise you don't really use those but yeah here he is in his uh, base mode and that'll just about do it guys thank you for tuning into the video and uh, make sure you watch the transformation